It's Thursday, October 17th. I'm Alex Mahadavan, here to report the daily headlines. It turns out a man who set off a hazmat scare by throwing a powdery substance into a Southgate Mall storefront Tuesday was merely honoring the memory of his dead fiance. Sarasota police concluded the powdery substance thrown into a lens crafter store was made up of the ashes of a grieving man's fiance. The man told detectives that she had a connection to the store and that he had scattered ashes around other areas in Sarasota that day. Delays continue to frustrate stakeholders in the State Street garage. Pineapple Square developer John Simon says the city is obligated to finish the garage by February 2015 and that commissioners don't understand the importance of that date. While policymakers struggle to pick a design for the garage, Simon says they are arguing about how to rearrange deck chairs on the Titanic. Telecommunications talks on Longboat Key continue through 2014. The town of Longboat Key will seek an extension of a state-mandated 180-day window to have a comprehensive plan amendment approved in order to bring both a telecommunications ordinance and comp plan amendment reviewed together by the town commission. The Longboat Key Town Commission could now most likely review changes to its telecommunications ordinance and comp plan on second reading on its January 6 regular meeting. A German sculptor challenges a city of Sarasota request. The city has asked Klaus Mohr to remove his statue from a site near the Van Wezel by December 31st. But Mohr says he left the statue for the city to sell in 2007, so they should help him with relocation costs. Longbow Key Police recently promoted three employees. Chris Skinner was promoted from sergeant to patrol captain, Randy Thompson was promoted from officer to sergeant, and Tina Gohl was promoted from senior dispatcher to communications supervisor. The Sarasota homeless population has hit critical mass, according to one expert, which explains the spread of transient camps. Sarasota Police Homeless Liaison Officer Dave Dubendorf, known to most of the transient population as Carrot Top, spends his days dispersing illegal encampments and genuinely trying to help homeless individuals avoid hurting themselves or others. Dubendorf estimates the city has 3.5 times the number of homeless as comparable municipalities, but said service organizations do more enabling than actual helping. It's so easy to be homeless here, said Dubendorf. For a feature story on this issue, pick up a copy of the Sarasota Observer or the Pelican Press. And from the Business Observer, a local law firm goes global. With support from the International Alliance of Law Firms, Sarasota-based Williams Parker has helped clients with business from as far as Mumbai resolve legal issues. The Powell Crosley estate is perfect for weddings, but it's also perfect for the graphic and thrilling Edgar Allan Poe stories this Halloween. The estate's artistic director, Gary Mizzou, read 50 hours worth of Poe to choose works to read during 45-minute performances planned for later this month. Rooms of the estate's carriage house will be decorated to represent a Poe poem or story. For an in-depth look at these stories and more, go online to yourobserver.com daily, like us on Facebook, and follow The Observer on Twitter. And pick up a copy of The Longboat at East County Observer Wednesday and the Sarasota Observer and Pelican Press Thursday. And for more videos and fresh local content, go to The Observer YouTube page and press subscribe. You, your neighbors, your neighborhood.